Hey everyone, my name is Dylan and in today's video I'm going to show you how to find the area of a triangle. It's extremely simple when you know the formula, but first make sure you like this video, subscribe for much more content in the future. Let's dive straight in. So, the area of a triangle. Here we have a triangle. The area is the amount of space taken up inside of a shape. Now, we have a very basic formula, base times height, which gets us the area of a rectangle. And this is linked to the area of a triangle. I'm going to show you how very soon. Stick around to the end because you're going to have a go yourself. So here are the dimensions we need to work out the area of a triangle. We need the base length, which in this case is six centimeters, which is base for B, which I'll write as six. We need the height of the triangle, which is the highest point perpendicular to the base. That means at a right angle to the base. This line going directly up is the called the height, which we can write as H, or in this case, 11 centimeters. Now to work out the area of the triangle, we need to do half base times height. I'm gonna prove that to you in a second, but for now, all you need to know is you work out half of six times 11. Two ways you can do this, you can do half of six is three, and just do three times 11 equals 33. Uh, and for the units, we'd put centimeters because we're measuring in centimeters. And because it's area, we'll put a small two, which is squared. Or you could do the six times 11 first, which is 66, and then half it. Either way, you end up with the same answer of 33 centimeters squared. So the formula to work out the area of a triangle is half base times height. Now, this is why. Because when we do base times height, here's another triangle with a base of eight. So eight centimeters and a height of eight also. Now, the area of this dotted square, which you can see going around, would easily be worked out by doing just base times height. So base times height, eight times, uh, base times height, eight times eight is 64 centimeters squared. So to work out the triangle, a triangle has a really interesting property, which it is always half exactly the size of the rectangle or square that it's placed in. You can see it really obviously in this case that this half here is too much. So if we half the total area of this square, we're gonna get what's left, which is the area of this triangle. That's where the half comes from. So eight times eight is 64. We want half of that. So the area of this triangle is 32 centimeters squared. We use the formula half base times height. So what about this one then? I want you to think about where on earth would we take a base measurement and where would we take a height measurement? How to think? Okay, well this is where the common trick comes in. The base is often thought to be measured from all the way to the furthest right point. Keep going until we get underneath our furthest point to the left in this case, which is here. This measurement here is not the base of the triangle. The base of the triangle in this question ends where the actual edge of the triangle ends. The side ends right here, so that's where we'd have to stop measuring. Now it's just a simple case of putting in the formula that we've already learned, half base times height. Well, we know the base here is 12, uh, 12 meters. We know the height is nine meters. And we're going to have to half whatever we get. I'm actually going to put it in brackets. 12 times 9, if you know times tables, is super easy. It's 108 meters squared. But now I need to half that. So half of 100 is 50. Half of 8 is 4. 54 meters squared. And we found the area of this triangle. Again, the important formula, half base times height. That means that it's your turn now. Hopefully you found this video useful, nice, short, and succinct. How to find the area of a triangle. Okay, well, using the formula we learned in today's lesson, half base times height. Let me know in the comments down below what is the area of this triangle. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time.